Hey everybody, it's Dr. Tim Dunn again with Spine Sports Chiropractic, and we're in the flu season. So with the flu season, we're talking about upper respiratory and those types of issues. But when it comes to the majority of sicknesses, it's either gonna be gastrointestinal or upper respiratory, right? Well, if it's gastrointestinal, most people are either vomit or have diarrhea, and they're gonna address it from that point. So the things we're gonna talk about tonight are primarily gonna be upper respiratory, but we can also do this same stuff for gastrointestinal. So the topic for tonight is thoracic pump workshop. So with this particular workshop, we actually have our patients in a few nights ago and we teach this, this technique to them. The goal is to create a negative intrathoracic pressure, meaning within your chest cavity. By creating a negative pressure, it will pop open the lymphatic tubules which line the wall of your chest cavity. And in doing so, it drains the infection, okay? So if you start with a sinus, it goes to the throat, or if you got bronchitis and it just comes into your lungs, this is exactly what you need in order to drain the infection and let your body do the work that it was intended to, which is otherwise known as healing. Make sense, folks? So the precautions are gonna be any objects in the patient's mouth, such as gum, candy, those types of things, gum candy dentures. We need to take into account the age and medical history, uh, thinking of things like decreased bone density or brittleness. And then we need to look at pacemakers or any other types of objects. So we need to do a thorough background check, a thorough history on this patient to find out if there's any contraindications to doing any type of manual work. And we as chiropractors are very famous for doing uh, precautionary work for our manual, manual therapies. Now the benefits is primarily upper respiratory, sinus throat infections. Our goal is to drain the infections out of the body through the lymphatic system, which is exactly how our body is designed. It's exactly how designed. So when we think of lymphatics, we're thinking of neck, armpits, and groin. So our neck is from the head, armpits is from the chest, the groin is from the abdomen. So it just makes sense that if we have an upper respiratory type of an infection, we have to stimulate, open up the lymphatics in order for them to do their job. It's great for that. All ages, we can do this anywhere from newborns to very old folks. It doesn't matter what your age is. There's some technique variations and we're gonna get into that very soon. So number three is perform multiple times a day when you're sick. So a thoracic pump, you're gonna do it three times in a row and then you'll do that multiple times in a day. Now, what about if I'm healthy? What about if it's just allergy season or whatever? Thoracic pump still works great for any type of upper respiratory allergies, long throat, sinus issues. And then number four, the maximum benefit is when you combine it with chiropractic, which is a nervous system, and a probiotic with the gut. So the question I want you to ask to yourself is why? Why does that trio work so well? And the reason that it works well is because ultimately we're talking about your immune system, right? This is what heals. Drugs don't heal, vaccines don't heal. Us chiropractors don't heal. Nobody heals but the body. The body heals through the immune system. So what controls the immune system? Your central nervous system, which is your autonomic nervous system, and it's in your brain stem. And that controls your immune system at 100%. As a matter of fact, it controls all your body functions. Your central nervous system does at 100%. The other portion of the equation is your gut. With your gut, you need probiotics to establish a healthy gut flora and you wanna remove sugars, processed food, and GMOs. You couple that with a plant-based diet, and this will have a net effect of 75% on your immune system. So no matter what you wanna do in life, if you wanna be healthy, it starts with your central nervous system, it's backed up by your gut, and if you have the flu or upper respiratory, then we add thoracic pump. So if you're right-handed, you'll be on the patient's left side of the table, if you're left-handed, you'll be on the opposite side. You'll come up to the soft tissue where it meets uh, the manubrium or the sternum, and they call the sternal notch. You come down an inch and a half to two inches. That's the manubrial sternal uh, joint, and it's lateral, uh, it's gonna be about an inch and a half. That goes mid-palm. So I'm gonna have the patient take a deep breath in. We've already cleared out, uh, we've already cleared out the mouth. We've checked for precautions. 
So the line of uh, or the vector of my arm is going to be pushing towards his knees, and you're only going to give or you're only going to take what the body's going to give you. Deep breath again. So as they exhale, you're pushing down on the ribs, only taking what they're going to give. Inhale, and you get off really quick. You want the patient to snort or to go really fast. Okay. So once again, sternal notch. Maneuveral sternal joint, mid palm, vectoring your shoulder, elbow, wrist down towards the knees, and the ribs are going to be a bucket handle. So what you want to do is as they're exhaling, you're, you're taking the ribs down, and you're not taking more than what the patient gives you. And you stay there. Then they, in, they breathe in again, they exhale, you take it down a little bit further. Then when they go to inhale again, you get off really fast. Mistakes that are made is that people always want to come up here and push off on the patient when they're getting off. Never do that. So get your foot up, that way I can move how I need to move and I've got a good strong base. Take a deep breath in. This is what it looks like if we're doing it. Deep breath. Deep breath. That's what it looks like, folks. We want to create a negative intrathoracic pressure, pop open the lymphatic tubules, drain the infections. Punch us a like button, get us some, some love, punch out the hearts, and let us know what you think. Thanks again, folks.